Welcome Brainers! If you've ever wanted to modify your boot menu order, or adjust the timeout duration, or simply change your default OS, then this video is for you. Let's jump right in. With the default timeout, the OS selection menu may disappear quickly, so please keep your fingers ready on the down arrow of your keyboard, and press it as soon as you see this screen. If you have multiple Linux OSs installed, make sure to select the one you most recently installed and hit enter. This is crucial because the active boot configuration files are always located in the last installed Linux OS. Once you're in the Linux system, please launch the terminal. We'll be executing a few commands here. What's more convenient is that you can open this video directly within your Linux environment, and then simply copy and paste each command from the video description one by one. These commands essentially install a Grub Customizer app, which is a great utility for the changes we would like to make. After successfully installing Grub Customizer, let's launch it by using the sudo grub customizer command. It'll now scan your current boot configurations and list the boot menu entries accordingly. Please allow some time for the processing to complete. After you see this list or something similar, please choose the OS or boot menu entry you wish to move, and use these arrows to adjust its position up or down. In my case, I've placed Windows at the top, followed by Ubuntu and other entries, but feel free to customize it according to your preference. Next, let's select General Settings. Over here, you can configure your default OS, which will load when no selection is made within the timeout period. Finally, you can set the timeout duration in seconds, for displaying the OS selection menu before the default OS loads automatically. After making all the necessary adjustments, please do not forget to save your changes. This may take some time, so allow sufficient time for the changes to be applied. Once completed, please close all open windows and restart your PC. As you can see all my changes are reflected in my boot menu. This is exactly what I wanted. I hope this works well for you too. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to see our videos at the top of your search results. Thanks for watching.